All right, first step in uh, changing the oil in this uh, Buick is to remove the 15, fill 15 millimeter bolt or drain plug from the oil pan. And as you can see, we're just draining it on out. While that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this oil filter out, replace it. Yeah, I know, I could be using Wix and Canyon and all these other brands of oil filters and oil and all of that stuff, but man, I've been using this stuff for however long this has been out, I've been using it, man, I haven't had any problems. And if you go look at all the certifications and all of that stuff behind this Super Tech, you'll find it's on par with some of the other name brands that want to gouge you out of your money. Man, change your oil regular and change your fluids regular. Keep a check on it. Man, you'll be fine. And it's the last just as long as whatever, man. Just change it however it needs to be changed. I have encountered cars where people have never changed the oil in, period. It'd be a sludge just comes out of there. That's a whole nother story, but I'm going to change this filter out real quick. I got to scoot under here, though. Ah, oh, there you go. It went just fine. Go ahead and tighten this up to the specified torque specifications. Click. All right, and um, I always like to pour a little bit of oil in my filters before I change them and everything. So I went ahead and did that. And let's make sure this mating surface is clean. You wanted to get a good seal on it. Go ahead and put this on here. And man, I like to just hand tighten mine. I don't know if I have any problems with it. Just hand tighten it. And that's it. Now I'm gonna um, fill it back up with oil. Uh, it's supposed to be four and a half quarts of oil goes in here, four and a half quarts. So I'm at an angle right now, so my jugs has uh, five gallons in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put four quarts in it. And once I get it off, once I get it off the um, the ramps and I'll just check it and make sure everything's at the level where it's supposed to be. And again, I'm using Super Tech. If you don't like it, do something else. I don't know. Like I said, man, I've been using this stuff for years, man. This stuff works just fine. And before that, man, I used to use um, Amazon brand, and it worked fine. It's a couple of studies on it, man. I, I, th I think I'll find that video, and I'll link it in the video and just show you guys. So here we go. I'm using 5W32, by the way.
That's about it. I just put about four quarts in there since I'm at an angle. And I go back and once I get it off the ramps. Check this oil level real quick. Right now it says it's a little short of being full and I'm leaning, so that's a good indication that it's right where it needs to be. All right, and uh, that's how you change the oil and the oil filter on the 2005 Park Avenue, uh, Buick Park Avenue. All right, what I'm about to do now, I'm gonna change the air filter out in this Buick. It's not much to it. Two screws right here. What we're gonna do is just unscrew those. All right, yeah, this, uh, technically, man, you could just take this piping off and do all this the exact way you're supposed to do it, but you don't have to do all that. Let's take these two screws off, two little plastic screws, so don't apply too much pressure to them. Pardon the wind, it's windy. It's pre-spring here in the south. And it's pulled out just like that. And as you can see, yeah, it's pretty dirty. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. It's definitely in time for an air filter change in this vehicle. I'm using Fram. I know how some people feel about Fram, but this thing really needs to be changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it using the Fram. 6479 GM at Walmart. Nothing fancy about it. Says four years of protection up to 40,000 miles. Well, I can get it out the box. All right, fresh air filter. I'm gonna compare it to the old air filter. Wow, there's all kinds of crud in here. Yeah, this thing was way overdue for an air filter change. So, I'm just gonna toss this. And we're gonna put the new one in. We'll see if there's any extra gunk in here. It is actually a little bit of trash in here. So let me clean some of that out. Clean that little trash out there. What we're gonna do is just stick this back in here, like so. Cause you get enough clearance. Just like so, in there, press that down, screw it back in. There's nothing much, there's nothing really fancy about it. Screw it in, remember these screws right here are plastic. Don't take much, you ain't gotta torque them down too tight. It's good and snug. 
Air filter in there making a good seal. It's all good. Boom. And that's it. That's it. I'm gonna I'm clean this engine bay out. But for now, this is how I do it. Let's hear it. Say thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Scott. Okay, let's hear it.